definitely understand that if they want a really good picture, they've got to give you a really good photo. Um, otherwise, it's a, it's a task. It really is a task. It really is a load of fun. Um, but I've always liked doing my own pictures that um, I've, you know, my photos that I've taken. I've always enjoyed doing that much more. Just putting these lines in here because they're really good, aren't they? Really nice. So really what you end up with is, is a picture that looks like a picture, not a photo. And it's been a lot more fun to do. So I'm really hoping that some of you, when you see this, will just think, oh yeah, that, I'll, I'll have a go at that, rather than try and get the realistic thing going. I really hope so, because I think, you know, it's, it's, it's very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. Just looking at the direction of these hairs here. We'll make them a bit more orange in a minute. But I'm just getting them coming really right over these, the other bits here, see? Because it's nice and dark, they show up nicely. And then we've got the orangey bits here, which we did before. And we've got a lovely strong orange in there. We'll keep that, because that's nice. But it's also topped by that nice orangey bit there, which I want to get in there. And then that's that bit there, yeah. Now, I want to do some more on here before I start doing these flicky bits over there. So, we'll We'll come, this is this bit here, which in mine is, is a lot thicker, but you know, that's all right, I'll be okay. Just make it more red. Make it a bit more red around it. And then these orangey bits will have much more effect. There's a, there's a orange in here. See, before we did this with a dark pinky red, now we're going over with the orangey red, and then we'll go over this with the um, orange. That's that bit there, which is coming up there like that, really. That's it. There's a light bit in there. Then we've got all of these just about here. Maybe a touch lower actually. Coming around here. Come around a little more. Then these kind of going through these bits here. See, because we all had it all mapped out, it's now very straightforward to, to do this now. Make that a little bit more orange. And that can be a little bit more orange. And this is more golden, but subdued. So we'll do it very, very gently there. And you can see immediately that's, that's kind of going the wrong color. So we'll put some of that red over that to kind of knock it back a bit there. Yeah, that's better, you see. Just literally just put, put it on, put my finger over it, it's much better. And don't worry about it not being exactly the same, it doesn't have to be. Just, just go with the, the flow of it, the feel of this little creature and just go with it. For me, it's 
always like spending time with the little animal. It's, it's always like spending time with this little creature. Um, um, I think that's why I love doing this so much. I do like doing people as well. I really do like doing people. Because of the, the accuracy you have to get, I love that. I love getting people accurate. But with animals, I don't know, it's just there's a bit more room for expression really and a bit more fun you can have. Just knock it all back, see? That's all, that's all you have to do. Put some little light flicky bits in here. And then we've got some light, nice little flick bits here. Just look at the directions of the, the hairs and you can't, you really can't go far wrong. Okay, that's there. Now, let's see where we are here. So we've got some little flicky bits here. Now you can see they're still in line with this. They're coming up a bit forward. And then this is a little bit down. Just look at those positions, how they relate to each other. Then just knock it back. Now, just go over that very lightly. See, I'm just, I'm really blending with this other pencil. But not in a harsh way, just in a very general, this is all very soft in here, see? But it's got kind of pinky look to it. Not orangey, I'm just gonna, gonna put a bit of the pinky red in there and see see how that affects it. Because you, I can see that it looks kind of pinky in there. So we've just put a few lines in there. That's it, that's done it. That's got that pinky, and the pinky look through here. That's it, just tap it back. And there we are. That's it, just put some in here. And then we've got, this is a bit stronger here. That's stronger there. That's stronger there. Stronger there, just tap it back. see if we can get back up here and just get this the right colour here. That's, that needs to be a little more subdued but streaky because there are some strong colours in there and I want to get rid of them all. There's some nice little flicky bits here now on the end of here. Put them in. It's cut across here. Um, nice sort of thin lines in there. And nice sort of lines flicking up. We've got some lovely lines here. We'll do that. But this isn't finished yet. Let's see this bit here. So we'll just we'll just carry on doing this for now. Needs to be a bit, a bit darker in there. This, this orange. Right, we've got this bit coming here. That's a darker. It's a very strong. We'll just soften that up a bit. softer there. There 
there's a bit of cream on top of that. Just see it. They're very light. One, two, looking better. This still needs to be a bit more orange in here. So yeah we'll get the orange going I think. We'll just give it a bit more warmth in there. Then we'll go over with the cream. See, see how light I'm doing this? And these lines going all over the place. They're not all going in one direction. Just like a, well, I suppose you'd call it like a bit like a cross hatching thing. It's kind of blurry, isn't it, really? And then under here, we have a really nice light bit there coming like that. And then it's kind of coming down like that. And then we can put the light bits back in. The stronger light bits back in. So pretty well. I'm just making this up as I go along. I haven't planned this out. I just planned basic colour route. And now I'm just making it up really. Just doing what I think looks nice. I think I'm happy with. Um, but I'm not slavishly colouring what we've got here. Just try and look at the bits that really stick out and make sure we get those in because they're really effective. And you know, they don't have to be in exactly the right place, they're just something happening there. That's all you need, really. That's it, that's all you need. Now, this bit here is looking a bit, see the edge of it is quite dark. I'm gonna go over that now, and make it dark and, and a bit more pointed. Just take that through, just like that. Just soften that up a bit there. And it is pretty dark, isn't it? Really, it's, it's darker through here. So yeah, you can just darken it up a bit. There's a little flick coming off it as well. These little flicks here. This is okay as it is, I think, just there. It's, it's all very sort of fluffy looking here. fluffy straight away. But we need to make sure there are some really strong black bits here. We need to make sure that we put those back in after fluffing it over. Just hints and then just tap it down. It's the kind of thing that you have to do then step back and have a look at it another day. Now these have, these have got more, a lot more they're not dark enough anymore. They've just got a bit blurred over. We'll just put some little black specks in there. And that'll do it. That's enough to do it. Just a few black specks. Just to, you know, emphasize those dark bits again. This is what happens. Things get changed as you work on it. You soften it up and then things do get a bit more blurry where you would have preferred not, not to. This is why you just have to keep keep your eyes peeled, really. Keep looking over it. This is this bit here. There, it's dark, very dark. 
this is darker. See how it's got lightened. Now, let's try and do these black bits here. I love the way these sweep up. See the hairs are going up. They're all bitty through it. And we're just going to use what we've got underneath there. We're trying to get that on again. We'll use that. some more. So that's giving it a nice impact. That's nice that bit there. See that, that really does look like a painting that bit there. Just a little black bit in there, see? Just here. Which we need to put back in. Because it's given that direction very well. And it's quite strong. Just tuck it down. Right, I'm just going to stand back for a minute and see what's going on with these black bits here. So let's do this top bit first. Now that, that's not quite in the right position, so bring it up a bit. And then that's coming down there. And we've got a black bit there. So yes, that needs to be. A little bit of red in there. This is orangey red. So, go to back to the black. I'm looking forward to getting on with the. See, I put some lilac in there uh, just to see how it all kind of look. I've literally just filled in the gaps that were there that I'd actually rubbed the black over. They look like this. I just put the lilac over the top just to get that grey look. Um, I think I'll put a bit of dark blue in there as well. I think I'll streak that with dark blue and black. But we'll think about that after. We'll just get on with this at the moment. There are some dark streaks in here, I can see. So let's put those in over here. Okay. okay, I think I'll stop for now and um, turn the washing off. <laughs> See you in a minute.